Today we're going to look at solving systems of equations by elimination. We've already learned how to solve them by graphing and by substitution. So you, own, you already understand the whole idea of what it means to solve a system of equations and to come up with an ordered pair that is the solution to both equations. So we'll just look at a few examples and how to solve them by elimination. Here's our first example. We have our two equations and you will notice something nice about these two equations. The y terms are opposites of each other. I can add both sides of each equation to each other and watch what happens. 6x plus 2x equals 8x. A positive 1y and a negative 1y adds up to 0. It just goes away. Here's my equal sign. And 27 plus 5 equals 32. Now, there's a whole reason why it's okay to add two equations to each other. We won't go into that right now, but ask your teacher, and I'm sure he'll explain it to you. So now notice this new equation. It says 8x equals 32. The y's went away. All I have to do is solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8, and I get x equals 4. So I have one of my two solutions. I must find out my other one. So I can plug this x equals 4 into either one of the two equations. Looks like the top one might be the slightly easier one. So it's 6 times 4, that's 24, plus y equals 27. So I'll just subtract 24 from both sides and get y equals 3. Therefore, my solution is the ordered pair 4, 3, where the x is the 4 and the y is the 3. Of course, before I would go any further with this, normally I would plug in the 4, 3 into both equations and make sure that it works in both. Okay, next example. Now, this one is pretty nice, but it's not quite as nice because my x's and my y's are not opposites, so when I add them, nothing will go away. But this is pretty easy to fix. I bet if I multiply that top equation, both sides, by negative 1, I would get something nice. I'm going to multiply both sides of that equation by negative 1. That gives me a negative 7x plus negative 4y equals a negative 80. Now, these two equations should be easy to solve. So I'm going to add those two equations. Negative 7x plus 6x equals negative 1x. Negative 4y plus positive 4y cancels. Here's my equal sign. Negative 80 plus 72 equals a negative 8. Well, if the opposite of x equals negative 8, if I multiply by negative 1, I will get that x equals 8. One of my two solutions. Now I'm just going to plug that into either one of the two equations. I'll plug it in the bottom one. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 4y equals 72. Now I'll solve for y. I'll subtract 48 from both sides. And 72 minus 48 equals 24. Now I'll just divide both sides by 4 and get x equals, I'm sorry, y equals 6. So x equals 8, y equals 6. My solution is the ordered pair 8, 6. Now for the next few examples, we won't do the entire problem. We'll just talk about what you would do at the beginning. This system of equations has two ways you can solve it. Probably the easiest way would be to multiply the bottom equation by a positive 3. Let's see what happens. That will give us 6x plus 9y equals 9. I'm multiplying both sides of the equation, not just one side. And now look at what we see. We have the negative 9y and the positive 9y. So when I add it up, I'll get 18x, boom, equals 54. I can continue and I can solve for x and then solve for y. Another way that I could have done this problem was to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 6. I'll write it that way this time. And I'll get negative 12x minus 18y equals negative 18. 
from the old again knows here, my X's will cancel. It doesn't matter which one cancels as long as one of the variables is eliminated. Now for these problems, we'll just talk about how you would get started. We won't want to work them thoroughly. I see a few ways of doing this one, but this has piqued my interest. And I'm thinking all I have to do is multiply both sides of the bottom equation by a positive 2. That would give me a positive 8m here that will cancel out with a negative 8m. And by the way, remember, when you write the solution to a system that has variables besides x and y, you just write your answers alphabetically. So example, if m was 3 and n was 6, your solution would be 3, 6. Uh, next problem. Let's see, a few ways of doing this. But to me, it looks like it might be pretty easy to get rid of the y's just by multiplying the bottom equation by a negative 3. That way my negative 9y will cancel out with my positive 9y. Next example, ho ho, we have a winner. Just go ahead and add them, that's easy. Next example, over here, okay, just as easy, except they're not opposite. So remember, we can multiply either one of those equations by negative 1, which will basically make it become this. Multiply both sides by negative 1. I'll get that. Now I have opposites, so when I add, the Q will be eliminated. Now for this example right here, try to figure out what would probably be the best way for this. I'm pretty much thinking multiply the top equation by 2. That will give you a negative 2y right here. That will cancel out with your positive 2y. Okay, now it's going to get a little bit more difficult, but not bad. I don't see any whole number or even integer that I can multiply any equation by. But just watch this little trick. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4 and the bottom equation by 3, that would give me a negative 12y here and a positive 12y here. And that's what I want. They will eliminate. Of course, if I wanted to, I could get rid of the x's by maybe multiplying the top equation by 5 and the bottom equation by 4. Nope, that's not going to work. But negative 4 would work. So that would give me right here a positive 20x and right here a negative 20x. Just be careful when you're multiplying everything that you're careful with the signs. Okay, for this next one, I'm trying to look for an easy way. I think either way I'm going to have to multiply both equations by something. And since the ends already have opposite signs, I think I'll probably go with that. So I think what the easiest way would be to multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by 3. That would give me a negative 15 in here and a positive 15 in here. Of course, everything else changes too, but I got my opposites that I want. And let's see our last example. Oh, this one's all messed up. I think I might want to write these to where everything will line up. Let's see. I'm going to write the bottom one just the same way it is. I'm going to change the top one to 4n equals 11 plus 8m. I basically brought this to the other side by adding an 8m to both sides. That's an n. So now, this is pretty easy to fix. I can just multiply either the top or bottom by negative 1. And now I have my opposites. Okay. Rise when I came.